Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some people color their hair with purple shampoo. Listen, purple shampoo is meant to sort of color your hair. It's meant to tone it, but it's not made to stay in your hair for, you know, upwards of three hours at a time, um, like some of these girls are gonna do today. Some of it's gonna be bad, some of it's gonna be good, but without a doubt, there will be disasters and I will make fun of people for it. Just kidding, I will be nice. It's not easy sometimes, guys. We're gonna enjoy. And I couldn't make a video about purple shampoo without talking about my very own on purple shampoo, it's finally here, guys. <gasps> ah! This has been such a long time coming. I have tested literally every purple shampoo in existence to create this one. After being platinum blonde for five years, I think that I know what a good purple shampoo is. We've combined amazing oils and proteins, as well as the perfect combination of blue and violet pigments to create the most magical, wonderful purple shampoo you've ever used. Look at this packaging. Snap a photo because we look so cute together. The tones of this are intense, baby. And of course it has our signature scent in it. Like always, this will just repair your hair, replenish it while adding back that perfect amount of violet tone to tone your hair and get that orange or that yellow out of it. Get yourself one of these, treat yourself, and you will not regret it. You guys can now shop this product. It is linked below or go to my website, xmondohair.com. Now let's watch some people ruin their hair with purple shampoo. Let's do it. Our first video is by Carrie at Zanadu, and this is called How I Fix My Brassy Orange Hair at Home with Homemade Purple Toner. Works like magic. Okay, so unfortunately this girl doesn't talk the entire time, but there's music behind it, and I'm just gonna narrate the entire thing because I feel like it'd be more fun that way. Hope you enjoy. Sit back and relax, friend. All right, so clearly this girl has very orange hair. Holy banolis. Girl, you're gonna need to bleach that again. It's like very, 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 very orange. And if that's what you're going for, girl, live your best life. Live your extra life even. I don't know how much of that orange she's gonna get out with just a toner, but we shall see. It is very even orange though. I will say that and that is what I like and it's not falling out. So she's using purple hair dye, conditioner, hair mask, or shampoo, a brush and a mixing bowl and a hair tie. Okay, so she's using purple hair dye to create a purple shampoo. I mean, hopefully the purple hair dye is a semi-permanent color. That is literally what is in purple shampoo, right? It's a pigment from a color put into a formula and it makes a purple shampoo and conditioner. Now she's gonna get to mixing. Um, she's using conditioner, some nice suave conditioner. Love that, was that like $2? She's no more left. So that's good. Get some more conditioner. And shampoo. I like that. So she's making kind of a conditioning shampoo formula. That's not gonna be enough for your head. You better put some more in there. Okay, and then we have this lavender color. I ended up using conditioner shampoo and a hair mask. Makes it good. All right. The only concern I have with this is that she doesn't even know how much purple pigment is gonna be in this formula. And she, there's no testing behind it, right? She's just gonna go in and do it. So her hair might turn purple or it might turn gray or it might turn a nice shade of blonde, which definitely is not gonna happen because her hair is orange and that's not possible because you have to lighten it more with bleach. And we're starting right on the top of the head. My least favorite spot to start color because you don't want the top of your head to be overtoned. Is there anything you want overtoned, it's the bottom of your hair. You want the top nice and bright and bold and fun. This looks like it's gonna turn her hair completely lavender. And girl, just buy purple shampoo at this point. You're wasting your money. You just bought like four products to make one little batch of purple shampoo. I mean, it would have been cheaper for you to just buy one. So if you guys don't know the reason why purple shampoo makes orange and yellow hair appear to be lighter or makes it less orange and yellow, it's because purple is opposite of yellow on the color wheel. And typically purple shampoos have a nice mixture of blue and purple pigment. So that way, if you have any kind of orange in there, it's still canceling that out for you too. And if you have yellow, it's gonna be completely gone. And my purple shampoo, oh girl, is it a ooh, pigmented purple shampoo. Woo, baby. I did a lot of testing with this on my own hair. I wanted something that was gonna be really powerful, but also not turn my hair purple or gray. All right, so we have the purple shampoo concoction in. She's gonna wait 45 minutes and we're gonna see what happens to her hair. This looks very lavender and I don't think that's what she's going for, but it's better what she has. I mean, I'd rather it be purple than what she had, to be honest with you. Oh! Okay, it looks bad, but it looks so much better than what she had before. Does it look way the f 
better with her skin tone? Hell yeah. Does it look great? Hell no, but whatever. She seems to love it. It's not orange anymore. It is actually, it is still orange, but I will say that it is less orange and you're rocking it. I mean, listen, for making your own purple shampoo concoction, I'm kind of impressed um, with how well it worked out for you. Though your hair is definitely still orange and I would definitely recommend just getting a whole head of highlight. That way you can kind of cut up that orange in between or lightening your entire head again, which might cause a little bit more damage. But depends on what look you're going for. You seem to be happy, you're rocking it. And that's all it takes is just some confidence to rock your look. And if you feel confident, girl, then just do it. Wear it how you want to wear it. Don't listen to me. Thank you for sharing that video today. It was very interesting to see somebody mix their own purple shampoo. Let's move on to the next video. Our next video is by Mariah Morgan. And this is called, I dye my hair with purple shampoo because quarantine. Don't say that word ever again. Quarantine. <gasps> quarantine. Duh. Quarantine. Yes. There's this thing called purple shampoo. Purple shampoo is made to tone your hair. It will make your hair appear whiter or even silver and sometimes even lilac if you leave it on too long. I know that I can actually dye my hair purple with it. Knowing that purple shampoo takes forever to get out of my hair, I never really tried it, but I literally have nowhere to be in two or three weeks from now. So that gives me ample amount of time. So she's actually trying to dye her hair purple with purple shampoo. So this is a fun experiment. I wonder how long it'll take to actually dye it purple. How many hours? I've got my purple shampoo. So she's using shimmer lights, which is honestly one of the strongest purple shampoos you could possibly use. It's a little harsh. So I used a lot of this when I had toned my hair just to see how good it would look. So if you want to see how this would look on yellow blonde hair, then check out my video. Do you even have our purple shampoo, Emma? I only have a sample of it. But Why I don't you I... take home a bottle? Really? Why would you not be able to take home a bottle, you I don't freak? Know, to have it first, and then I was gonna take it. Emma, you I, can always I, take home product. I can't believe you don't have it. I am so excited. It's the best thing. It's literally the best purple shampoo. Like I literally, like I tell I didn't pay her to say this. Well, she does get paid, but I didn't pay her to say that. <laughs> so she's actually diluting it with conditioner, which I find interesting because she wants her hair purple. So why are we diluting this? We're doing the bottom first. Yes. Oh, and it's looking deep purple. I don't know how purple this is actually gonna make her hair though. I've left purple shampoo in my hair for a pretty long time. Doesn't usually make my hair purple, but it, maybe she's leaving it on for like five freaking hours. Where the roots are in that yellow, I don't think it's going to look as purple. I mean, her hair is definitely not, not gonna have yellow, any yellow in it anymore after the, um, I'm the any after this. this is, she's not gonna have any yellow in her hair after this. She better get it on every hair strand, that way she has no spotting and parts of it don't turn more gray or silver or purple than others. I'm feeling pretty hyped about this though because I do like the purple on her skin. It looks really good. She has more of a cool skin tone. So this is going to look really fierce if it works. Let's wash this out. It is currently, oh my God, look at my eyes. Um. Whoa, that's really purple. I've been with this about 14 hours. She left it on for 14 hours. I actually mixed a ton of conditioner and it still came out really dark, which is amazing. I'm gonna go let this dry and style it. Looks a little patchy. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> Whoop, sorry. Hey guys, as you can see, this is the finished result. Yo, she looks incredible. I like it and why not? I tried something new. It looks like I got beat up, but it's fine. My hair looks a lot lighter than it did before, as you can see. And I think it suits me better. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. This is what it looks like. The roots are gray. The roots are pretty bad. Yeah, but it's okay. We'll fade into a lilac. My hair feels amazing, like sleeping and conditioner really did it some good. It got really purple. I'm surprised at how purple it is. She looks really, really good, especially with the makeup, with the hair, with the wardrobe. Oh girl, I'm vibing with it really hard. The only downside is that her roots are so so yellow and her ends are purple. That sometimes happens because the roots are not as porous. But yeah, the whole look together looks great. Uh, just the roots are kind of like a mm, sad part. Let's move on to the next video. So our next video is by Nami Cho and I know you girl, I remember you. Before and after purple shampoo, untoned bleach hair results, hair transformation part three. 
let's check it out. Today we're gonna tone down her hair with just purple shampoo and purple mask. I didn't want to put a harsh toner on her hair because I like the yellow look on her. Did I hear that correctly? You like her hair yellow. Uh, I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, and also, I think her skin is very cool toned. All I see is pink. I would rather her with a cool, like very silver color. I think we can just put the mask on your roots and then see I'm, how it tones. I think I like the color here too. Yeah. It looks good. It's like a warm platinum. All right, I mean, you feel good in it, girl. Go for it, baby girl. You can also use purple conditioner, you guys. You don't need to use purple shampoo for any reason. Purple shampoo is for when you're actually washing your hair, but if you're letting a mask sit on your hair, just use the conditioner. They both usually have the same similar pigments in them, so they both usually have similar pigmentations to them, so I would rather just let conditioner sit on my hair rather than shampoo, you know what I mean? It doesn't really make sense to let shampoo sit there. I'm so happy that they're toning these roots, though. If her hair came out like this with the purple roots and the white ends or the yellowy kind of ends, it's kind of cute. More like white ends, not yellow ends. I think that'd be not cute if it was yellow, but I like this look. Can we just keep it like this? I hope her roots end up turning purple somehow. Okay, we're doing the roots again. We're doing with the conditioner now. I don't know what's going on. She definitely needs like a dark blue for those roots. This is a cute look though with the blue roots. Ooh, that looks a little bit better, except it looks a little spotty now from all the areas that were over-processed. That's okay, we'll take it. Oh! There's still a little bit more yellow and just some areas that it clinked the purple right here. The purple clinked more, but I think overall it's it a nice more like it looks like I've got highlights or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It looks a whole lot better. It's not perfect, but it looks a whole lot better. See how the silvery tone looks much better on her? <laughs> She's so cute. It matches her so well. It looks really cute. I love the cut and the color looks gorgeous on her. Are you gonna keep trimming it? Mm. <gasps> I feel like it's junto. I feel like this is. Woo, not me. You're getting good at hair. This looks cute and you're doing a good job on your friend. A little purple shampoo kind of killed that yellow. It made it look a lot better for her skin. Let's move on to the next video. My next video is by Brooklyn. Brooklyn. This is called I Love my purple shampoo on dry hair for four hours. It's a long time, Brooks Glen. We are going to purple shampoo my disgusting hair because I'm ready to dye it brown right now uh, because it's so freaking gross and the regrowth is disgusting. Yeah. Ooh, it's a lot. Not ashy enough because I actually haven't put any purple shampoo in my hair for about six weeks because we haven't been going anywhere. It's actually quite ashy. <laughs> I think that you would look really good with dark hair. I'm not obsessed with the blonde. Yeah, the brown would look really dope. So you're gonna need a purple. What is that? This is the one. Ice cream. Never heard of it. It's also a great brand. The only purple shampoo I know is Supernova. This just feels like an expensive piece of jewelry to be honest with you. I knew when I created my own purple shampoo, I needed something so freaking ashy. Extra. I was always known for my platinum blonde hair, and I wanted something that looked like platinum blonde hair. And I was like, oh, this is the material. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Oh, it is blue and violet. It is really dark. This is gonna be purple. You know, she has a lot of different lowlights and highlights going on in her hair, so I'm a little worried it's gonna be very splotchy, but oh, whatever. We're making our way around, and we're doing more color. We're getting around their whole head. It's looking purple as hell. I can't wait to see the results. Da -na 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 -na. Okay, so the shower's running, but I low-key think this has been in my hair now for four hours and 20 minutes. Four hours and 20 minutes? Your hair's gonna be purple. I don't think she cares, though. You can tell that my hair is naturally curly. Whoa. It looks really good curly, too. Let's get a close-up on this. Oh. Whoa, it's definitely a little lavender. But I'm not sure how I feel about some being purple and some not. I'm not either, I'm not sure how I feel. It's like a very faint purple. But you can tell where it's really grasped onto and the top half, it didn't catch onto. This is what the bottom, oh. definitely not. She really turned that purple. Like overall, like if I wore my hair on the side like this, like low key looks like I've got purple hair. Don't wear it that far on the side. Definitely in the middle, it looks good. Um, And also I think curly would look better. It's a little uneven. <laughs> oh my God, am I being mean? Um, She looks good. Uh, Well, better. I mean, it's definitely a little splotchy. Definitely turned her hair purple. Definitely could be better, but definitely is better than what she had, I think. That's what happens when you leave purple shampoo in your hair for four and a half hours. So I'm um, not surprised, not shocked, but still, 
still, I want better for you, girl. I want your hair dark or like dark purple even, like blue, anything like that. It looks so good on you. Thank you for sharing that video with us. Wow, well, those were definitely some interesting <laughs> transformations. None of them were my favorite. I mean, they were all pretty crazy and they were definitely abusing purple shampoo. <laughs> not supposed to leave it on for that long, guys. Come on. Make sure you guys subscribe right down below. If you're not already, click the bell icon and the like button to see more of me and I will see more of you. You guys can text me right at this number right here. Yes, it is really my number. Yes, I really do see all your texts. And yes, I will be responding to a few of you if you text me right now. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. These are all my social media handles. Go for it. If you guys would like to shop my brand new blonde toning shampoo and conditioner, you can right below at xmondohair.com or check us out on Instagram at xmondohair. There's new things launching all the damn time, like my color line that I just announced. But that's a whole nother video. There's so many exciting things happening. And thank you guys for always supporting me. I really, really appreciate all of you so much. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Christina. Christina says, I feel like I've been in a rut lately with my hair. Oh no, I hate that. I would like to do something fresh and new with it. And I appreciate your opinion. I don't have virgin hair and I usually color it every few months. Currently it's mid length and my roots are my natural color. And then the rest of my hair is faded teal from the purple on the rest. And the underneath purple is blonde. There's a lot going on with it. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not either because I didn't understand that. First of all, I really like the blue on you. Second of all, all I'm imagining right now is pink, 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 pink. What I'm thinking for you is doing like a Charlie D'Amelio Bramondo special. You have the e-girl bangs and it's pink and the underneath is pink, but the top is dark. I just think that would look so good on you and the pink around your face would be so delicious. Try it out. If you do it, let me see it. I would love to see how it went and how it looks and all that good stuff. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Oh, <laughs>